depending on the drawing standards which uh, you or your organization uh, prefers, uh, it's possible to adjust certain properties of the drawings, how they are rendered. So, for example, here the, the main profile is on the on the right side, but you might want to have it on the left side. This can be changed in the menu set, profile on the left side, and from now on uh, all the all the drawings which you will be uh, creating will be will assume that the profile is on the left side and it will it will also be saved in the database like this and so if someone else uh, opens it even if their software is set to display profiles on the on the right side the drawings that you have created will have the profile on the left side another thing another thing you can modify is the the scale bar so first uh, the position Normally it's uh, centered uh, at the drawing, but you can just click, left click and drag it to reposition it. And this will also be stored in the database with the drawing. It's also uh, possible to customize how long the scale bar is. So I can go to the menu set, set scale bar length, and I can just enter the length in centimeters change this but this will also only be uh, saved specifically for the for this for this drawing so you have to you have to modify it if you want to change it for a specific drawing uh, it's also possible to change the type of the scale bar the menu settings scale bar type you can use a single division scale scale bar or a, a line scale bar depending on what you prefer um, then you see here the di in the di diameter is uh, displayed in centimeters and there's also the the standard deviation uh, displayed uh, you can uh, change this by going to the menu settings diameter you can either check that the diameter is not visible at all or just check that you don't want to display the standard deviation or you can change the units which are used. This will change the, both the diameter and the scale bar, so you can change it to millimeters. So now you see the units are in millimeters. It's also possible to change the colors of the, the lines and the, the fillings of the field profiles and via uh, settings, set line color for the lines, and also oops, also set fill color in case you want a different color um, maybe but maybe let me adjust the line color to lighter color so you see here the the photograph is now displayed behind behind the drawing behind the lines but I can I can uh, go to settings and select show photographs in front of drawing. So now it will be displayed in front. And uh, some some people prefer to or, or uh, for some purposes maybe only render half half the drawing. So not not uh, not render the the outside the outer profile here. So you can also select here to show only half vessel in this case it doesn't make sense to have inflection lines on the other uh, half of the drawing so we have we have manually repositioned the scale bar otherwise it would it would shift to to be displayed in the center of the drawing okay it's just the line color darker color it's uh it's also possible to adjust uh, the the gaps between the lines. You can see that there is the the break lines, the, the break lines on at the profile, the break line here at the axis, uh, indicating that the, the vessel doesn't have a, a bottom, and also uh, there is a gap here at the at the uh, rim line. This can all be adjusted under diameter set rim line gap I can adjust the, the length 
of this gap here and I can also adjust the, the brake line gap by default it's 3 millimeters let's say we want it 10 millimeters you can see here it already shifted but with existing brake lines uh, you have to you have to delete them and create them anew to apply the, the new setting and you can also change the, the length of the brake lines again here you can see it has automatically changed here we have to do it redo them to apply the setting <laughs> 